What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. Today's video, what we're gonna do is take two different air integrated computers that will actually connect to the same transmitter or the same type of transmitter and see if we can get them both to read. Now the reason we wanna make this video is a John C commented here on our channel and asked if we, if I knew if I could take two Marius computers that read the same transmitter and to see if they would both key in at the same time. Now there's several reasons that you may wanna do this. Let's say for example, you're diving two computers. You got your primary and a backup or vice versa and one of them goes down you want to make sure that your backup can read off that transmitter or say if you're in a situation where you're a parent diving with your child you might want to be able to read their gas as well now being able to read from a different tank is going to be the actual second part of this video and you're actually going to have to have two transmitters to do that and i'm going to show you the only possible way to do it is actually have two different gas mixtures but we'll get into that at the end of the video what we're going to focus on here at the beginning is is can we get two computers to read from the exact same transmitter? So basically we're gonna to try to pair it to one, try to pair it to the other, and see if they'll both key in. So let me get the camera reset up and we'll see if we can both get them paired. All right guys, so once again, the two computer models that we're gonna be using is the Marius Quad Air and the Marius Smart Air. And what we're trying to determine is, is can we pair one LED transmitter to two computers? So maybe you're diving with two different computers, one's gonna be a redundant system, and let's say your primary goes out, and you got your redundant, let's see if one LED transmitter will actually pair to two different computers, thus letting you see the pressure on both computers. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pair to the Smart Air first. Um, and like I said, there was a video on this one just recently that we uploaded. So if you wanna see the, the full procedure of how to do that, you can actually click over and watch that video. But basically I'm just gonna go to the pairing screen. I'm gonna get it set up. I'm gonna hold it against it, put it in pair mode. And let's see if we can get it to pair here. Nope, didn't pair there. Let's try it again. And may need to reset the system here, so let's cut the air off. Let's bleed it. And while we're waiting on that to reset, let me actually walk you through the quad air real quick of how you go to the pair screen. Basically, you're gonna turn the system on. You're gonna use the up button to scroll through. If you go too far, use the down. You wanna to go to the set hit enter, set dive, hit enter, then we're gonna scroll through to gas integration. Once you get to gas integration, you're gonna hit enter again, and it's going, going to go into the pairing screen. Now you gotta hit enter two more times to get it to actually try to pair, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can get this model to pair first, and then we'll go to the quad air and see if we can get it to pair as well. So, I'm just getting everything set up here. I'm on the pair screen. I'm gonna turn the system on. And let's see if we can get the smart air to pair. It says pairing, okay. So that one's paired. And let's actually back out. Let's go to pre-dive and see what the pressure is reading. So we're gonna go to pre-dive here, give it just a second to kick in. Just give it a little purge there. It says 2803, so this one's set up in the Imperial. Now let's try to pair to this model here. So once again, I'm just gonna go to set, set dive, gas integration, pairing, hold it against it. See if it'll pair here. It says pairing okay. All right, so I've got two computers paired. Let's see if they will both read a pressure. So let me back back out. Now this particular computer doesn't necessarily have a pre-dive, but there you go, it's showing 2800 on this computer. Now this one I've got set for metric, so it's set at 193 bar. This one's Imperial, but there you go. If that answers your question, yes, one LED transmitter will pair to two different computers. So if you're diving a primary, and a redundant system, you can wear two computers with the same LED transmitter. So that was actually a pretty cool discovery because to be honest, I didn't think that it would actually do it. But John C, thank you for that question. That really helps out me as you know as a Mario's dealer, but hopefully it'll help you guys out as well. But let's take this one step further. I'm actually gonna reset the camera up here for you guys because I wanna show you how you can read multiple transmitters off the same computer, but I'll show you the different steps that you'll have to actually go through as well. So give me just a few seconds and we'll get the camera reset on two different tanks for you. 
All right, guys, so now I've got a different scenario here. Basically, what I've got now is two different gas sources, two different gas cylinders, if you will. I've got transmitters on each first stage here, so we're actually going to be pairing this computer with two different transmitters. Now, there's a couple pointers in the Marias line. Anytime that you pair with multiple transmitters, you're going to have to have two different gas sources, such as different partial pressures of O2. So in this particular cylinder, I have just standard breathing gas at 21%. In this uh, particular cylinder, I've got 30% nitrox or a partial pressure of 30% O2. So your main gas source, whatever it's going to be, your back gas, your side mounts, whatever, that needs to be the lowest partial pressure. So gas one's always going to be your lowest partial pressure of O2. Gases two and three will always be a higher partial pressure system. So let's say your back gas is 21%. Maybe you're coming up and you might be using, say, 36%, and then when you do your deco stop, maybe you're around 50%. So whatever it is, you always want to start with the lowest gas pressure for gas, or the lowest partial pressure of O2 for gas one, and then you're going to have the next highest partial pressure of O2 for gas two, and then your highest blend, whatever it may be, for gas three. Now, we're going to be using the Quad Air for this one just because it's got a larger screen and hopefully it'll be easier for you guys to see on camera. But you can do the same thing, of course, with the Genius or even the Smart Air, which we just watched as well. So what I'm going to do is get it paired to the 21% cylinder, and then I'm going to turn this cylinder on, which has 30%, and I'm going to show you actually how to pair it as well. So once again, on this particular computer, I'm going to scroll through till I get to Set. I'm going to go to Set Dive. I'm going to scroll through to, I get to gas integration. I'm going to get to the pairing screen. I'm going to get ready to pair. And then I'm going to go ahead and pair it with the 21%. So I'll turn that cylinder on. Start the pairing process. And it says pair OK. All right. Then all I've got to do is scroll to gas 2. And I'm going to come over to this system. I'm going to turn it on. This one's got a slight leak on it. Go to gas two, and I'm going to pair to it. And it says paired. So I've got two different gas sources here. Now if I back out, go back to my main screen. Now it probably won't show both gas sources on the main screen, but when you get to the dive screen it will. It sh clearly shows there's 191 bar here in the first cylinder and that it's set at 21%. And then during the dive mode, I can actually switch over and change to gas two. So in this particular situation, yes, you can pair to di two different transmitters or two different gas sources if you're using these computers. So once again, maybe you got your primary breathing gas, your back gas, and then of course you've got your deco gas as well. Just remember, gas one, two, and three, gas one will always be your lowest partial pressure, gas two will be your next highest partial pressure, and gas three will be your absolute max partial pressure of O2 for whatever your dive is. But guys, that's it. We looked at the Marius Quad Air and the Marius Smart Air. We were able to pair both of them to a single transmitter, such as you're in that situation where you got a primary and a backup, and you want them both to read your gas source. And then we also showed you that you could pair them to two different gas sources as long as gas two and three is a higher partial pressure of O2 than what your main gas source is. Guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you got any questions, kind of like John C. did, just simply put it down in the comment section below. If it's something that I don't personally have an answer to or, or maybe I can't answer at that time, we will set up another video for you just like we did this and we will test it out. I want you to stay tuned in the future. We've got some gas out of air emergency drills coming uh, that we're going to be filming. We've been seeing a lot of these, uh, a lot of other YouTubers post stuff about gear configurations and, you know, how you should donate gas in an out of air emergency. And so what we're planning on to do in the future is actually show you several different situations and how you would actually handle that situation. And I know a lot of you guys believe in certain philosophies and there's really nothing wrong with that. However, if you don't necessarily buy into one specific philosophy, we think it actually makes you a better diver because you're going to be better prepared and have multiple tools to handle a problem in any given situation. So that's what we're going to show you in our next few videos is how to deal with out of air gas emergencies. And we're going to show you a couple of different options, although we will show you one philosophy that tends to work for everything. 
It's not necessarily the only philosophy. But definitely stay tuned. I think it'll be a very interesting video. I know a lot of my techie guys will probably like it. Uh, but definitely stay tuned for that. Once again, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, simply share it and smash that like button for me. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.